Hi, and welcome to this tutorial uh, where I'm going to try and teach you how to do a lightsaber effect in Cinelera. This isn't a really basic tutorial, so it's going to assume you know like some stuff about how to use this program, but it's also not that difficult, so you should be okay. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is um, a video project with at least three tracks. Um, you need to put your lightsaber footage of you, know, you or whatever you want to put the lightsaber on into the first track. I'm going to be using this dude with a sword because I don't have any footage of me waving a lightsaber around. Um, so hopefully this will do just to show you the basics. The next thing you want to do is put a block of colour onto your second video track. In this case I'm going to use red because that's the, and this is going to be the colour of your lightsaber. So if you want a blue lightsaber, blue, etc, etc. And now go back to the beginning and we want to make a mask. So click on the edit mask button in the compositor make four points with the mask there so that's about how many you'll need click on the question mark um, to edit the, the mask details and you want to go to multiply alpha so that you have a block of red Okay. for some reason I'm on mask 2 there but don't worry that's, that's going to be not going to be the case for, for you now one thing that's, that's really important very very important is click apply mask before plugins otherwise the blur effect we're going to add later to make it look like a lightsaber instead of a random block of colour will not work, so apply mask before plugins, very important. So now that we've got this we can start to mask out his sword. So there we go. Now this is the most boring part. Um, I often find it's good to, to click that so we can see what's going on without the distracting lines and blobs of the mask. But you need to just go forwards one frame and the very annoying thing about Cinelera is that sometimes this can drag in here and you need to go forward there and it'll go forward two frames and you need to go back. Um, so then go back to the mask and you can edit. And you really do just need to actually go through frame by frame doing this and I know that that is a pain but it is the only way to, to make this work properly. Um, so then the general trick I have is to go forward, go forward again, then click the back button. I, I know that's kind of ridiculous, but it, it seems to be the best way to not get similarity to glitch and then accidentally go forward two at a time. Uh, hey, it, it's a completely free program, I'm not complaining. Um, so I click forward twice, click back once. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm not actually going to go through the entirety of this because it would take a really long time, but you know, you've know, you got enough here that you kind of get the, the gist of, of what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, actually, it's quite wide here, partly because that's sword and partly because he's moving it, but it'll be fine. Now, um, the next thing you want to do is just sort of double check that, yes, it does look like he's roughly moving that along with it. Now, now we've gone beyond the, where I've actually bothered masking, but that's fine. So the next thing you need to do is disarm track 2, arm track 3, white background. So whatever colour it is, you want white at the top, okay, on the very top track. And you want to move that down to there. Because um, this will give you the white core around the, the red around it. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to copy these keyframes onto the white. So disarm track 3, rearm track 2, um, highlight everything. And because only track 2 is armed, it will only copy track 2. Keyframes copy keyframes. Now disarm track 2, arm track 3, keyframes, paste keyframes, you see? And now we've got in white. Now to get the actual effect that we want for the lightsaber, we click on blur and drop a blur effect onto both of these. And also I'm just going to click on the camera so we can see what it looks like. Now that's starting to look a bit more lightsaber like. It's not entirely perfect yet because we need to adjust the blur. So you want to blur red, green, and blue. You want to blur everything, and the white. Sh the, see, the the harsher it is, that, and then there you go. You want maybe something like twenty. Yeah, starting to look like a lightsaber, and then on the red blur, again blur everything, and you want something a little higher, like maybe. 
I mean, basically, you can you can change it to how you like. I mean, it gets a bit too blurry up at the top ends because the red is too diffuse and lower down. It's extremely harsh. But um, you know, something like maybe there you go. Sort of find a happy medium. There's your lightsaber. And then we go back and we've got him swinging with his lightsaber there, look. And there's the lightsaber effect. Hi there. Sorry, did forget one thing that I meant to add, because I always forget something. Um, if you don't... I quite like that effect, but if you're not happy with it, you want a little bit more of the red, short of actually uh, going back and changing every single one of the white background um, the white masks to be slightly thinner, one thing you can do is add some brightness and contrast to the red, and as you can see that, that brightens up the red halo there and generally makes the lightsaber look a bit brighter. If you look at the settings I've chosen, um, I've just got you know like an awful lot of contrast and a fair amount of brightness. If you get too much brightness it just becomes white, so you don't want to do that, but you know, sort of around there. You, know, you can kind of increase it a fair bit and you get you get that nice red around the edges of it then. Um, there you go. Now I really am done.